Good morning, everyone. Some bells ringing behind me. It's church bells. Uh, from Seneca Falls, New York, we are here in this really nice town, beautiful place, uh, famous for many reasons, one of them being women's suffrage. Uh, we're here on the old uh, canal system out here, and we're going to talk about something in particular. This, this town is known for a lot of things, but one of them is their connection to Hollywood, and Right behind me here is a bridge that has possibly, most likely, a very important role in a movie. Okay, so as I said, this is the Seneca River. It was part of the canal system, still is actually. And this is a big manufacturing shipping district. You can see all the, uh, all the docks and stuff here still. I got a pretty big boat there. So you can imagine this was a bustling area at one point and now it's part trails and things and of course National Women's Hall of Fame. There's a uh, beautiful sculpture trail across the river. But over here this bridge it's a big history to it. And we're gonna go on the street here, named for the bridge, it's called Bridge Street. Let's head on over. Here we are on the corner of Water Street and Bridge Street. I'm gonna head on up. So even as you approach this bridge, you kinda get a feeling like, I've seen this before, kind of. More or less, it's an inspiration for something. And then you might turn over here and be like, Wait a minute, Bedford Falls Boulevard, um, what is this one? George Bailey Lane, what are we talking about here? We're on the other side of the bridge now. On this street, it's dedicated Clarence Street. And also, Angel Ave. We're actually going to go out to the middle. There's a little plaque we can read. And there's a little plaque up here. The village of Seneca Falls may have inspired the hometown look of Frank Capra's 1946 holiday film classic, It's a Wonderful Life. Mr. Capra is known to have visited here in the mid-1940s at the time of the screenplay for the film was being developed. Many similarities exist between Seneca Falls and the fictional Bedford Falls. Among these are the design of the bridge, street bridge, the use of several place and personal names, and the village's geographical location. So the little plaque we just read uh, kind of hints at what this is, but there's one important factor the story behind the bridge that did have some influence in the movie It's a Wonderful Life. As you can see here, some people have purchased bells from the nearby museum to It's a Wonderful Life. And here's some of the sad history of this bridge. Here, April 12th, 1917, Antonio Kelly gave his life to save another. He honored the community. The community honors him. So the story goes is uh, he was an immigrant who came here, moved here from Italy. Back in 1917, he saw as he was walking home from work, as he worked at the docks, saw a woman had jumped in into the Seneca River and tried to commit suicide. He immediately jumped in. He caught up to her, 
and swam her to some help on the shore. Got her to safety, but Antonio unfortunately drowned on that day. So you can imagine that decades later, everyone's still talking about this in town and when Frank Capra is thinking about the screenplay, supposedly the scene for the part where George Bailey jumps in was a little different before Frank Capra heard this story. That story pretty much changed what happened in the film where George Bailey is contemplating jumping in, but Clarence jumps in instead and George Bailey has to go save him, being a hero. kind of crazy to stand here and think that something that happened this long ago, 1917, had so much of an impact on not only a woman's life, but also uh, many people uh, that it's touched through the movie, It's a Wonderful Life. Pretty amazing little connection a small town can have to a huge, really a huge holiday movie, uh, even though when it originally came out was not that big of a film, Frank Capra, his career was, uh, people said he was washed up and he had nothing uh, left in him for creativity, but proved them wrong. And uh, I'm sure this bridge had just maybe a little bit to do with it, uh, but definitely his stay here in Seneca Falls uh, definitely had something to do with that movie. The coincidences between the train station and some different houses in the area and developments. Um, I don't know, it's tough to argue that he, this place didn't have some influence in that movie. So if you haven't been here, you should check it out. Come down. And if you have been here, what's your favorite part of Seneca Falls just in general? It's just a beautiful place to visit. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.